Hey folks, welcome to the Eagle's Nest. Now this video is a viewer requested video regarding the DPX bolt mod. Now a few videos ago, I quickly demonstrated this modification that I've been working on for the Remax Action, uh, something that is taking me quite a while. Now to get perspective, I've been building a lot of Remaxes. I've been building them since a serial number 701 and we are now seeing serial numbers 3,500. So that's a lot of rifles out in the market. And I personally have built over a thousand Remex actions, um, rifles, barreled actions and whatnot. But the modification that I pretty much have been working on is to mitigate and eliminate a potential issue that the Remex action has. And that issue is the Remex action jamming on a live round. Now, to get perspective of how the Remex action works, the uh, Brimex has a very unique system utilizing a primary extraction system. Uh, unlike a traditional extractor, uh, this system is a stationary extractor system. It is by far one of the strongest extraction systems in the market for a 22 rim fire, but it does have its Achilles heel, and that is that it's not unable to single feed a live round. So with these extractors being stationary, a case cannot slip over the extractor system. So what can happen is with a mag that's not adjusted correctly is one of the potential issues or just manipulating the bolt. A live round could jump in front of the bolt head when, when manipulating the bolt handle and you're unable to extract it without using a sharp pick knife or a cleaning rod to uh, remove that live round. It is an Achilles heel and it has costed a lot of folks that are in competition a lot of points or zeroing out a stage. So this modification that I came up with uh, is to pretty much put regular extractors into the Remex bolt head. So my system is utilizing the CZ457 extractors. Uh, these are my own extractors. I'm having them made wire EDM cut out of S7 tool steel. And I have a, my own extractor C-clip for the CZ457 that is about a 30% increase on tension. Now this extractor system will be sold separately on the website available for UCZ 457 and on shoots shooters very very soon. So the video request is from William Leonard 8998 and he said it would be nice to see a video of the rifle with the new bolt and barrel mod shooting downrange results and then installing the original Remex bolt and modified barrel and shoot it again. So the benefit to, to this uh, modification on the Remax is that even though I have to put extractor relief cuts in the barrel to allow for the relief on these two extractor claws, it still can utilize the factory bolt assembly. So the modification that I plan on uh, offering for, for folks is uh, another bolt head. You're gonna receive this modified bolt here and uh, also my service is going to include putting the extractor relief cuts into the barrel so basically what i'm able to do is for folks that um, have the remex action the original bolt assembly can still be used and utilized and you can also utilize the new bolt head modifications and you can swap in between now is there a reason to do that i don't know um, i've had a lot of testing done with this modification with utilizing the CZ457 extractors. I've tried other extractor systems in the market and by far this is the most reliable one that I've seen and it actually increases the ejection pattern which you'll see in this video. So stay tuned. We'll go ahead and shoot the rifle downrange back here. This is a brand new rifle that I've just finished up. This is going to go to my Canadian sponsored shooter. Um, he's going to be one of the first guys there in Canada having this modification done to the Remax, and he is a very good shooter, uh, very avid uh, competitor out there. So let's see what this thing does downrange. All right, so I'm gonna start off using the factory bolt head for the Remax. Now this barrel already has the extractor relief cuts. I'll give you guys a close-up video of what that looks like. This shooter is going to be using Ely ammo. Now I'm just going to get this thing zeroed out with the Lapu ammo I have right now because I got very limited Ely ammo. And we do have the trigger cam downrange, uh, which we'll go ahead and get a view of what it looks like in the, the groups there at 50 yards. But uh, I want you guys to take a look at the ejection pattern on a brand new Remex action with the factory bolt head. 
and see what it looks like as a comparison. Uh, let's see, it should be zeroed. Let's go for target number 16 here. All right. No cold bore shift. Ooh, flyer. This ammo has been sitting out in the sun, so that makes sense. All right. So you guys can see that ejection pattern. I'm going to go ahead and drop the mag here, and we'll swap over the bolt head. So I'll do this live. So the bolt head's coming off. Very simple to do. Find the notch. And then the uh, Rimex modified DPX bolt mod is going to go on. So basically, you will find the uh, groove here. Oh, gotta flip the bolt upside down. All right. And once you find the groove, it should slide right on. And now I'm utilizing the modified bolt assembly here with the CZ extractors. And we'll go ahead and shoot another group here right next to it. So let's see if the zero changes or anything else changes on it. So, like I said, you guys can see the ejection pattern. It's a very, very strong ejection. Um, let's go ahead and get this thing zeroed out for Ely. So, let's try Ely 10X. Okay, so we're using Ely 10X now, and we're still using the modified bolt with Ely ammo. Let's see how this performs. 50 yards. There's about eight mile an hour wind out there, so you're going to see a little bit of spread. Okay, 11.38. And you saw that last round I had there. I did kind of short stroke it, but I was able to still manipulate the bolt and the extractors went right over that cartridge without a problem. And we got a pretty good group going down there. Let me go ahead and readjust the zero. Let's go ahead and swap this bolt out and load up some more ammo. So that's a pretty good zero. Let's go ahead and put the factory bolt on. So it looks like it's holding a zero. I don't think it really affects it much. Let me put a tenth in to the left and uh, we'll go back to the other extractor again. And that's just the ammo that I have. It's not really the best Ely 10X, but uh, it does work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the KYL rack while it's kind of still zeroed. All right, so before we lose daylight, I want to kind of showcase on a side profile shooting a KYL rack at 50 meters. And we're going to run through the mags. Now I got a Voodoo mag, I got a metal Voodoo mag, L3i, and of course the Remex mag. 
So let's see what this, th this thing does. Hopefully you can catch the ejection pattern here. And again, this is a KYL rack at 50 yards. I'm a little bit rusty. Haven't been practicing for a while. I've been building rifles. So let's see what this does. This thing to turn a little bit. There we go. Ah, missed a quarter inch. So that was the Rimax mag. Let's try the Voodoo mag here. We'll reset. And got the infamous Voodoo mag jam. This mag does have an issue with that. No big deal, easy to reset. All right, this too, a little rusty. <laughs> we'll try the metal Remex mag. That one did jump in front of the bolt head, but I was able to still chamber it. All right. So that was the metal mag. And the last but not least, the L3i mag here. My zero shift a little bit or the wind picked up. All right. Regardless. All right. So you guys can see the ejection pattern having, you know, these Rimex mags and the Voodoo mags and how strong the ejection and reliable the ejection is. Now the benefit to having extractor claws now is the ability to single feed if needed. So if ever in a bind or if you're just shooting for groups out there, you can get a live round, throw it in the chamber here and go for, you know, shooting for groups. So let's see here where we're at. Oh, there's the target. So, in a pinch, if you're in a competition and you're like, damn, I forgot a couple rounds in my mag and you got some in your pocket or found some on the ground, you can throw it in your chamber here, unlike before on the Rim X, and continue shooting your course of fire. So, kind of a benefit having these extractor claws, as you guys could tell. And you can see the ejection pattern is very, very strong. Um, these extractors having, you know, the increased extractor uh, spring rate of a CZ, it, it just makes it hell of a lot more reliable. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I'll slow it down on the video, but it is a lot stronger than the factory extractor system. A little bit rusty, but <laughs> I'm making skin packs. Hey, hits a hit, right? So let's go ahead and try this quarter KYL just for giggles here. Eh, that missed bad. The fact that I can utilize Voodoo mags if needed is a benefit. But a lot of guys are going to say that, 
yeah, with this new modification, you just got rid of the ability to pre-fit a Remex. Now, I don't know if that's entirely true. Um, the Zermatt Remex action, and the way Zermatt is very tight on their tolerances, they thread mill their actions. So what I notice is that a lot of these actions actually time up to other barrels uh, very similar, you know, within one or two degrees. So I think technically you can pre-fit a Remex uh, barreled action or barrel with the extractor relief cuts. Um, luckily, I do have a lot of Remex actions at the shop and I do have another barrel uh, with extractor relief cuts. And let's see if that's even true or not. Okay, out of my own personal curiosity, I've chosen five uh, random Remex actions out of my shop here. These are all brand new. We even have a lefty right here. And from my experience building so many of these things, I've noticed uh, the thread, the threading on these actions are very, very similar to one another. So uh, the question I have is, is it possible to pre-fit a Remex action with the extractor relief cuts? So I have here a, just a random barrel um, that I've chose when I was doing a lot of this testing for this DPX bolt mod. But here's a quick close up of what the tenon will look like. Now this is a Remex uh, barrel that I've chopped. Uh, one of the barrels that did not shoot very well in, in, in the past. Uh, particularly this one is a Krieger. So uh, there was an issue in this barrel. I ended up just uh, throwing some you know, relief cuts on there as, so you guys can kind of get a general idea what it looks like. So it's a little bit off center line. There's a nice little radius right there. And this is what I was talking about on the extractor relief cuts. So what we're gonna do is torque on um, five random Remax actions. Let's see uh, what they time up on. And what I'm gonna do to show you guys that it works is I'll use the modified bolt right here. Uh, we're torquing these things down to 80 foot-pounds, starting with this action here. So it should line up right about 12 o'clock. Um, like I said, I'm kind of curious myself. I haven't done this, so this is the first time me doing this on camera here. 80 foot-pounds. Okay. I do have an alignment mark on this barrel. Um, perhaps you guys will not be able to see it here, but I can see with the scope rail that it's right in line at 12 o'clock. So this bolt head here should work and it does. So the extractor relief cuts work on that one. Let's go ahead and loosen this one up and try another action. Right, put that one off to the side. Let's try this action here. All right, so this one looks like it's gonna time up also. And here's the second action with the bolt head mod. So that's interesting, that's two for two now. We'll remove this one here. This was serial number 3019. So 3019. Turn that action away. The third action here is serial number 3022. Yep, that seems to be timing up just like the other ones. We'll torque this one down. DPX bolt mod, that action works also. So that is three for three, three actions that are timing up to one another, which is good to see. Here's the fourth action. This is serial number 3102. Probably noticing that I'm not using the impact gun to torque these actions down. Uh, that is 
not the proper way to torque down an action using an impact gun. There's a lot of force being put on the bolt raceway here that you could possibly damage the bolt raceway. But this one is timing up just like the other one. So this is action number four. And looks like this is gonna work also. Everything seems to be kind of lining up right at that 12 o'clock mark, to be honest. Like everything is like almost within one degree. So really awesome to see this. Um, DPX bolt mod on the fourth action. No problem. So this, this action also works. And the last action is gonna be a lefty. So our last, our last action is a left-handed action. This is a serial number 2374, so uh, quite a bit older. And this being the left-handed, this will be kind of interesting to see if the thread timing is still the same. So let's see. The left-handed bolt heads on a Rimax are built a little bit different. Uh, there is the relief cut for the ejector is on the opposite side. So basically um, for guys that are lefties, I would have to have a left-handed bolt head uh, made or basically use a left-handed bolt head and make the extractor relief cuts and the modification to that bolt head specifically. So the left-handed bolt heads themselves are, like I said, um, it's that little groove right in the middle right here on the right side that is opposite. So that's the only difference besides um, the ability to swap over the, the tractors there. Now, is this a necessity to have? Like I said, it, it really depends on you. If you're a avid competition shooter or wanna compete in NRL 22 um, and know the cost of flying out there, attending a match, the hotels, the driving, the fuel, all of that entails a lot of money to attend a really big match. And having a failure during your course of fire can cost you a podium finish, very frustrating. Now, this has happened to me in the last three years of competing with a Remax action at least three or four times. I've uh, attended some big matches where doing very well and all of a sudden, uh, either self-induced or not, I had the Remax jam on me, um, which costed me a podium finish on one of the matches and a very good top five finish on another. So um, it's it's very frustrating when you get to that kind of level of, of com competition or just competing yourself, knowing that your equipment failed on you. Uh, having reliable equipment is key to winning matches and having just one failure can cost you a, a lot of money uh, more than what the cost of just getting an upgrade like this uh, is entailed. Now, some of the comments that I've got on my channel on that, that particular video, which was just a very short video, um, was guys were saying, oh, I'm just trying to make a quick buck. I'm trying to cr create a solution to a problem that doesn't exist. Now, a very arrogant comment to say, because for a shop like me and as busy as I am with 400 plus clients currently right now as, as of this year, I'm not gonna tie up a quarter million dollar CNC machine in my time to, not, to develop a solution to a known problem. Like I said, I've been building these things since serial number 700. Um, and a lot of the reports that I've gotten for clients that I have built rifles for is that they had this issue. The action itself is very reliable. Now, I've ran this action personally for three years. Two of those years uh, have been without the DPX bolt mod. And one of those years, last year particularly, has been with the mod itself. But out of those two years, like I said, I can count in one hand, I've had the issue. So if you're just a, a avid plinker, um, somebody that wants to go out there, target shoot, have fun, maybe an occasional NRL 22 match, uh, perhaps spending $525 uh, for this upgrade really isn't up your alley and maybe not needed. But for those that want the extra reliability of being able to single feed and have the ability to mitigate some of the issues potentially during a course of fire, uh, with using traditional extractors, then obviously this mod is a good good upgrade. Now, with that said, the release date for the DPX bolt mod, what I'm waiting for is my extractors to be completed. Uh, we are having these things made. 
out of S7 tool steel, uh, wire EDM cut. So it is taking a little bit longer than I want it to. I'm hoping by next week in July 17th, around that time, I'll have a email campaign that I'm gonna shoot out for folks um, and allow my clients that I have built rifles for or am building rifles for right now, giving you guys that are a DPG family member that has purchased from me the uh, first dibs on our first production run. For, so for those that have builds from other shops or have a pre-fit and put one together and are wanting this, uh, this DPX bolt mod, you're gonna have to have a little bit more patience uh, it's just me, like I said, and I want to give back to and, and give thanks to those that have gave me the opportunity to build a rifle for. So this modification is going to come out uh, strictly on the first batch for those that I have built a, a rifle for, a uh, Remex rifle for, or I am building one for right now. So with that said, I want to say thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm always listening. Uh, feedback, negative or not. I'll listen. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys stay cool out there. Stay blessed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.